Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Neo Rex here with a new for a video for you guys today. I want to talk about the um. First of all, I know there's been a delay of videos. I'm sorry about that. I've been busy. Um, I was so busy, you know, playing video games, playing my fighting commander 4 controller and as you've seen with my review I did a part 1 and a part 2 of it because the reason why like yes the like if you see my previous unboxings I didn't instead of doing an unboxing I also wanted to do a demonstration about what are my thoughts about the uh, controller as you can see I really love the controller it has an excellent d-pad oh my gosh this is one of the best. The Hori Fighting Commander 4, I must say, it got one of the best durable D-pads I ever played ever of a controller. The buttons got a nice click to them. And they even got shoulder buttons. If you still want to do the L2R2 play style, you can still play it that way. But instead, this Japanese. So, we got the R1, R2 buttons on there. Excellent. This is the basic setup for most Japanese games. Like, if you play games, Japan, most Japanese games, for example, Street Fighter, Soul Calibur, and, um, what's that other game? Soul Calibur, Tekken, and, um, oh, dang, I can't even think of it. Yeah, yeah, Street Fighter, Te Soul Calibur, Tekken. And, um, also, um, yeah, and mostly Japanese games, um, yeah, old state school Japanese games, the, the Capcom versus games, they have, like, the R1, R2 button as, like, the basic high punch, high kick, respectively, so, it's very easy for most games, like, yes, for the fighting, for, for the setup, you don't have to do much customizations, for Soul Calibur, I use this to block, and this to attack, and, kick and respectively my own custom controllers like yeah I like to customize my own fighting style when it comes to 3D games like yeah I play this with Soul Calibur 2 and mostly 2D games like yeah I was testing it out on PlayStation 3 and PS4 it works very well for Dead or Alive last round it doesn't really for the, for the PS4 controller you are missing out on the speaker and the light pad features so far, the mostly Dead or Alive 5 last round don't really have those PS4 next-gen features on it. So, that makes it very well durable. It's very, it just works for both PS4. I tried it on PlayStation 3 and tried it on PS4. It works very well. For fighting games, yeah, I really enjoy it. Also, I do like the fact that the controller, I like the fact that it's like very, it got a, it very has a, uh, ergonomic it got a fantastic d d design to it the buttons as you can see the d-pad L left stick stick right stick you can change it for the corresponding game like yes for mostly I've been playing on PS3 like if you notice right here there's a button if you want to switch it to three to four the what system to work on. It works on both systems. It works very well for a controller. The D-pad is very durable. You can adjust it right here to free or lock. You can customize the D-pad. It goes up and down. And, and it really customizes to your own liking. It's very durable. You can set it to be very loose like the Sega Genesis or to be very durable like the um, Dreamcast or Xbox 360 pad. Like, yeah, it does remind me of the old school Sega pads back in the day. They're very durable at the same time, very loose. You can customize it very loose. But as you can see, I have it very loose. So when I'm playing games like Street Fighter and Soul Calibur, it's more easier for me to get the moves. If I want to do the moves, I can do it more easier that way. It's very good. The buttons got a nice click on it, like the buttons. Like most people in a tournament play, it's like they hold it like this and they use this. They play arcade style. Like, yes. Mostly I play like this. When I'm playing the Alpha games or 3, but when I play, I play like this way. I do play this way when I play Street Fighter 4. This, I do, I tried it out. It does work very well. A lot of tournament players, like, yes. Oh, I also want to get a shout out to the YouTube reviewer. Um, I forgot his name. But I wanted to give a shout out to him to say like, yeah, oh man, I forgot his name though, but 
my point is, like, I just want to get my thoughts out to say thank you so much for the video. I want to shout out to say thank you so much for his review. He opened it, and I, and I decided to get that in the Hori Pack Command. The reason why I got it, because it is for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. I still mostly play PS3 for the fighting games and classic games that I download on it. And it does work well. When playing Capcom vs. SNK2, I'm doing training. I'm doing the muscle memory and also playing with the pa uh, pad. I'm learning how to do the moves. And, and doing the 360 moves are so much easier and well done. It gets the job done. The buttons are laid out excellently. Excellent done. They got a nice click to it. I like how it got an arcade. It's like it got the arcade button feel to it. The buttons feel like a very arcade feel, so which I like. It got a nice click to them. Yeah, the jelly buttons, it reminds me, it's not the jelly buttons, they're very solid. They remind me of good old, like, the Sega buttons back in the day. Back in the Sega pads, the Saturn, Genesis, etc. I really like that. It got a nice click to them. They got a very, very neat, it got a great organic feel. It got a very sleek feel look to it it does it gets the job done very well and oh yeah and I was testing and playing other games like Sonic CD and Pac-Man Championship Edition DX on PS3 it works very well for PS4 it going to work for you know those old school games with the fashion control it, it will work well the one thing is you're going to miss out on the next gen features like the speaker support and the light support that the new gen sub games support on PS4. But it does work well. As you can see right here, it is designed. This one is designed after the PlayStation 4. It got the, the option and share buttons. Yes, it, which replaced the select and start respectively. Which for PS3, they work fine. They use the old style buttons. They do work fine. Sony did approve. It also says Sony approved on this. And I really like the unpackaged design. I like the package design like it was designed by Sony Computer Entertainment America for PS4. To show that, yeah, it was like an approved Sony project. It does the job very well. Well, that's all that pretty much well. I, I will make, as you see my E3 video. I, I will be, hold on for a second. Oh, my bad about that, folks. My bad. Anyway, like I was saying, like the control, I did like how it was packaged, and I do like how the control, it works very well, and I like how it was advertised. I got it off Amazon, it's very good for a fighting game. If I, I highly recommend getting that controller, it's one of the best controllers ever. Mostly, I know, if you notice, like it's a fighting controller, because that's what they label as these classic games, because a lot of people, game industry, saying that these really classic style controls are not in are not popular no more. They're not even in shape no more And when it comes to the new generation of games. And I like, well, they now advertise as a fighting pass so that you can still buy these controllers for fighting games. Uh, they Nowadays, they bring back these retro controllers like fighting pass and first-person shooter controllers as to other popular genres in America, in the United States here. That's the way they advertise it so they can keep those models in 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 um populations to sell, you know? Like they keep these advertisements the way they advertise these classic controllers so that they can stay selling in the video game industry, the business, so to continue stay popular. It does work well, but the only thing for PS4, I will be using it for fighting games. I also want to stay tuned. There are videos. I, I know I've been late on the videos. My E3 video will be coming up soon. Stay tuned to that. I will make a um my E3 expectations. I'm still watching a lot of shows. Like I'm watching the Capcoms streaming. I'm watching the Ubisoft. I, I'm going to watch the Ubisoft conference. And I'm going to watch more conference videos. I want to give you my overall opinion of it. Uh, <coughs> I want to see EA. I, I have seen the Sony conference and the Bethesda conference. I've seen a little bit of the Microsoft conference. I did see Halo 5 Guardians. That's the only game I wanted to see. I saw a clip of it. I saw a little bit of the Microsoft conference, but I wasn't all that excited. It was like, still was like, meh. Meh. Still 
crusty. I got that from the phone 999. Still crusty. It's not all that exciting. Not really. But Sony, oh my god, Bethesda had an excellent conference. Sony had a conf great conference. Ubisoft, I saw a little bit. Ubisoft had an exciting conference. Capcom had an amazing event. Namco Bandai had a Dark Souls 3 look interesting. Oh my gosh, they had some interesting. I was disappointed in Namco Bandai. They didn't show any games, like no Dynasty Warriors spinoff or no. I'm disappointed. Koei Tecmo was like, I was disappointed. Well, we didn't see any other games that's coming out to America that will be important in the West. It was more focused, like an IGN. I did see IGN. I did see the conference 2K Battleborn. Oh my gosh, Battleborn and that um game. Uh, and also, Guerrilla Games got the new game Horizon Until Dawn. I believe it's called. It looked excellent from the people that made Killzone. Like yes, yeah, since Bungie, yeah, the so-called. Did, did you hear the? Oh, and there's going to be a vi video about the Bungie controversy. It was a long time coming. You already seen my Destiny review. That's my thoughts about that. But you know, there's going to be another video I'm going to talk about where Bungie. Yes, Bungie said that they been selling this other expansion pack that's cost forty dollars, and a lot of fans. It's exciting. This was a long time coming. A lot of fans were very upset on the Bungie forums. Were disappointed at Activision, and they were very upset. They were very muffled about that announcement. That we have to pay extra for DLC and all these updates, which most of them are should be free. Some of them saying like we gotta pay for all this for the beta version, of these updates, and most of them should be free. True, I agree with you on the bunch community on that. The mostly like the upgrades on the guns, the exotic weapons, the new weapons, the new strike ways to get these weapons. Yes, my opinion that should be free. I understand the story mode, but now you're gonna hold back web content. And now they said they repackaging the Destiny Connectors Edition. And they coming out with a new Destiny version called Destiny the Taken King. Where it comes with a new story mode. And it comes with a storyline mode that's come, going to come with all the DLC released so far in the game. And I was like, what? It was like, oh my gosh. A lot of people, it was a lot. I saw that coming. I saw it coming. Even on PS3, I was surprised that it got the lights was up to 550 to 26. I wasn't surprised. It was a long time coming. And Bungie, yep, they lost the respect to mostly everybody in the game industry. Not only to the gamers, they lost the respect to gamers, reviewers, consumers, or if you're a... Um, the re uh even the game journalists themselves it was like it was a long time coming so so that's my point like yeah i mean bungie and activision really screwed up there it had potential but they really did screwed up but now that destiny that that's out of the picture not that all that hype no more it's going to have a lot of hard competition when it comes out when battle when they got battleborn uh, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Oh, I'm going to get that. Yes, I missed out on Uncharted. I didn't play that many PS3 games, but I am looking forward to that remaster by Blue Point Games, which I'm a huge fan. They work. They did Shadow the Ico Shadow Colossus collection. They did um, let's see, the Prince of Persia trilogy, the Tomb Raider trilogy. And they did the ports. They did the ports. They mostly handle ports and of uh, remasters on of other games, which they have done so well. The Prince of Persia games remaster, I liked them so well. The under um the Ico remaster, which I got for free PlayStation Plus, was good. I beat the game. Excellent game. Good remastered. They did a good job. Remastered the controllers. They did remaster the controls, the physics. And Blue Points games, in my opinion, they did fix most of the problems in the new game. And I do recommend buying the re Ico Remastered. The collection, I highly recommend it because I think Blue Point, the what I give Blue 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 Point games credit. Excuse me. I give them credit because they do go back. They don't just do a port of the graphics like most people. They go, they hey, they take the game code and they modify a few fix here and there. There are a few problems here and there. This one section that had a hard control problem, they fix it here and there and make it a better game. 
They update the controls, they update the physics, and I really like that. Good for them. And I have no doubt that they're going to fix the Uncharted collection. Yes. Yes, I do like, in my opinion, like, yes, the in Uncharted 2 and 3, yeah, it was praised as one of the best multiplayers on PS3. There will be not no online code. What they doing is say they will get a beta access to Uncharted 4, which is going to be much better. Like, if the Uncharted 3 Drake's Fortune, you can get it for free on the PlayStation Plus, which I'm enjoying it. There is like a free version where you can only rank up to level 15. You can play a few online matches. I got to say... I haven't played that many games on PS3 because the online code, the PS3's online engine is very, it's not really good, but Uncharted, but Naughty Dog did it good because it did have a seamlessly online connection and everything guns well to the loading segments, to the Uncharted blow up effects and all that, how they was able to bring it to the online, wow. The online was smooth, very fun, unique, and it was more better than Gears of War. They, and... And I can't wait to get that Uncharted trilogy for PlayStation 4. I, I was just talking to my friends. He was like, would you buy Uncharted Collection if they announced it at E3? He's like, yeah. I was like, me too. There ain't a game Naughty Dog didn't make. And of course, I didn't get the Uncharted games missed out. Because a lot of the onlines, I didn't really got the PS3 games. Because most games like Ratchet and Clank, I played the Uncharted demos, but they were disappointed. I don't know. I was mostly disappointed with most of the games. Like Killzone 2 and, and Killzone 3. Kills on 2, I was disappointed. I beat the game. I didn't really play the PS3 games because mostly I felt it was lacking. Especially throughout the 2014 and 2013. I, I think most of the games were lacking during that time. So let and so we got PS4 out. I'm glad I got PS4. And I'm like, I think they improved. Sony are improving. As you can see, the collection. I'm very excited. God of War 3 remastered. I'm going to check that out. I just got done beating God of War Collection. I'm going to get the God of War 3 remastered. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and like I said, oh yeah, Destiny by Borderlands. Okay, uh, obviously now that Destiny, the more I play Destiny, the more I want to buy Borderlands, the handsome collection. So I'm not, I think that's going to be the next collection. As for something new, I want to get to something online, first-person shooters. Borderlands has a lot of reference to Marvel, Star Wars. And sci-fi movies like back, like Back to the Future, or um, let's see, Terminator, RoboCop, and you know those sci-fi movies in the 80s and 90s. And I heard Borderlands got a lot of reference and a lot of praise, and and it's been under the radar. And I think the Borderlands it makes me want to play the Borderlands collection more. And see all the reference. They got the old school reference. Like, yeah, they said, Gearbox said the reason they created Borderlands to give back that old school first person shit feel back to the 90s. And now Borderlands became like 2K's most praised, most critically acclaimed series. I am thinking it's been remastered on PS4. It got four class split screen. You go around shooting. Got good old old school fashion. Like I played a lot of first person shooters back in the 90s, early 2000s. I like those games. Like Golden Eye, Time Splitters, and um, let's see, what was the other game? Far Cry. Yeah, Far Cry 4, I'm enjoying a lot. Uh, like, yeah, I haven't played it recently. I've been playing fighting games. But, yeah, that's probably the next game I'll get. After I get J-Stars Victory Versus Plus, I have renewed it. Like, today's like the 25th. I will get my hands on that game. Oh, I will be doing videos. If y'all want to uh, upload videos, let me know. I'm going to upload my videos with my squad. Like, it's look forward to that. If you follow me on Facebook, there's going to be a ton of J-Stars Victory Versus. Plus, I'm excited. It's a game found coming out to America. It's on PS4. We, United States Americans, going to get it first. I'm excited. I pre-ordered my copy. I'm ready for it. I'm going to use the Fighting Commander Port 4 controller, obviously. And then again, and then again, it might not be all that good. And, and uh, We got to wait and see. I will first in my videos. I'm always going to use the PlayStation 4 obvious. I will test it in that fighting game to see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Stay tuned to that. So anyway, this is Neo Rex here. This is my video about the updates about what's going to come in the future. I will make more. I've been reading manga. I know. I've been playing a lot of games, practicing with my controller, playing a lot of PS3 games, playing the Narchi Reigns. Um. 
If y'all want to let me know in any more videos about J-Stars, I heard Unawan, uh, um, I mean, Fairy Deadly Sins Williams had posted up the J-Stars Victory Versus soundtrack to promote the game. Everybody in the game community, an anime community, are excited to play that game. I pre-ordered my copy, PS4 version for the win. I'm going to play with my squad. My, my first squad I'm going to try it with is Pegasus Saya, Gone Freeze, and Bobo 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 Bobo. -bo -bo. Yeah, Bobo Bobo is going to be the leader. Yeah, of the squad. Yeah. Bobo Bobo. Yeah, I don't care what anybody say. Back during 2005 to 2008 in Weekly Shonen Jump's run back in print, Bobo Bobo was the show. Was the manga. At least, like, the manga was so much better. Like, yeah. At the time, I was more into reading than watching at the time, manga at the time, so I'm now more of an anime. I, I do got manga here, but I, re I hardly read them, like, every, like, once every now and then. So, yeah, there's going to be more videos. J-Stars Victory Verse Plus, I'm going to pre-order it. I pre-order it. I'm picking it up day one. I'm buying that. Then after that, I'm going to get Borderlands. Hopefully, it'll be cheaper. Hopefully, it'll be, like, $40. I'm going to get that Borderlands collection. So this is Neo Rex here, the signing out. Stay tuned. If you have any ideas or or any suggestions that you have, just put in the comments down below. So and I'll talk to you guys later. This is Neo Rex signing out.